Dear, you want some cereal? Have some. Make sure there's no bugs inside. Let me know, right? Disgusting. Still good? Does it still, still taste yummy? I'd rather eat pizza. I, hey, man, I'm trying to keep fit. Yeah, that's not working out for me. Time to go get some Fruity Pebbles, yo. Fitness. Fitness. Sorry, it's the only brand I had in here. I don't have a Kellogg's here. Why don't we have a cereal cafe here in Hong Kong? I think there's one. Is there a couple in the States or wherever you guys are? Dude, I love cereal. I'm a huge cereal fan, man. If you want to send me a gift, don't send me minifigures. Send me a box of cereal. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty. Let's eat some cereal. You guys enjoy that Pizza Hut video? Yeah, from Oxford Block? Because look, we got more here. Oh, another one of those rare, limited. Not quite sure if we can get them, but we have stock available right now. Go check it out on the store on BrickMeUpScotty.com. And just like the other sets, why don't we just do a bonus review? This is actually available in our store. I might as well show it to you guys here. It's nice and small, so check it out. Here we go. Rah! Look at this. This is also from Oxford Blocks. So this is Oxford Blocks Team Cobra Monster Truck. M03583. 292 pieces. And the cool thing about this is this is actually available on the store. It's not a limited edition. There's a whole series of these. I only unboxed one and put it together and I was supposed to review it for you guys before. But I thought I'd just throw it in here and review it. So if you're a car guy, here you go. You can take a look. This thing is really sturdy. I do like how sturdy it is. Look at that. Look at the tires on the sucker. It rolls really good. Look at that. Yeah. The tires might pop off because they are just kind of loose like that. As you can see, it's a little bit loose. But once you slot it inside, see if I can get it there. Look, it's got like crazy suspension. Yeah. Hey, you guys. What's happening out there? Dude, check out the tires on this truck. It's so massive. They have to double it up on here just because it's a monster truck. The bigger, the better. Bummer thing about it, it's all stickers on there. Ah. Oh. But good thing about it, it is totally stable. Once those tires are in, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna fall apart. It's cool, it's here on the back, look at this. It's got a little pulley, I guess. My rope is getting all jacked up though, look. Maybe I shredded it too much. This thing can probably pull a bunch of stuff though. It can go really long too. We'll hook this onto the Kellogg's. We're gonna pull the Kellogg's cereal. Pull. Yeah, not bad, huh? So that's good, it's nice and strong there. It did pull that out, but look. Yeah, don't get loose, don't get loose. Hanging by a thread. Will you look at that? Very cool though, I like this feature. I thought that was really neat. Totally playable this thing. And look underneath, look, real suspension there. Look at the rubber bands doing their work, look at that, yeah. It's not like plastic joints doing the work, it's actually using some type of suspension. You made some music in here. Got little lights on the top there. You can rotate, you know, spotlights. Another bad thing about it, uh, there's no door for the minifigure. How can you get in there? You can't get in there, but it does come with a minifigure. Check them out. Yeah, the truck, monster truck driver. Yeah, look at him with his shades on. Look at that beard. We'll take his helmet off. Helmet is all right. It looks like a typical brick helmet we've seen before. The visor is a little bit loose. And that is a printing, by the way, on his shirt, four-wheel drive. He's ready to go ride in the truck. Unfortunately, he can't get in there, man. How are you gonna get in there, huh? How are you gonna get in? I guess we can take off the top here. Yeah, you have to take off the top to get him in. That's the only way you get in. But he can fit inside nicely. Look at him, he's nice and snug on the inside. You're probably looking at this wondering, why is this pricier? than Jingbao. It is more expensive than the Jingbao for sure. This Oxford block, man, they're expensive, but it's super durable. I love it. Look at this thing. It's so cool. On the inside, you got the steering wheel and the gear shift thing there. You can certainly fit one minifigure in the back here to control whatever you're going to hook onto here. The stickers itself is actually pretty cool. Oh, look, mine's starting to like peel off a little bit. Maybe it's because I put it on the curve because, you know, I suck at putting stickers on. It says Oxford Speeds on the side. Team Cobra, number 33. More stickers here on the front of the bumper. And you got the green tile there, the actor's headlights, pretty cool. Oh, and the cab back here does open up. Open sesame. Open sesame, there you go. It does come with a crazy amount of stickers, look at that. I think it actually comes with the stickers from the other set. Oxford were just like, well, we're gonna just print them all. I might as well just like put it on one sheet and send it to you. So you could change the sticker out or check with the other sets on the site if they have the other brands there. But there you go. Now let's go back to the cereal cafe. Get out of here. This is Oxford Block's Kellogg Cereal Cafe. Limited edition. No idea how many pieces either. 
Man, do I have to count the stuff for you guys? Well, keep an eye on this video and on the last video and wait for the next unboxing video, store update, and we'll do another giveaway. Yeah, these are your hints. First, let's look at the manual. Nice and thin, very, very thin. So it's not a lot of pieces. And then for the box, here you go. Here, I'll push this back even further so you can see it. Who is that guy? I've never seen him before. Is that like a Korean thing? Isn't it Tony the Tiger in the States? Like, isn't, doesn't he represent Kellogg's? I've never seen that dude before. Maybe I'm getting too old, man. I'm, I'm out of touch with these things. But here it is, the back of it. Oh, let's not spoil it, but you can see the idea for the box. You can freeze frame that and, you know. But again, we have some of these in stock. This is one of them, brand new. It's, it, it's completely sealed. So I'm touching yours if you're gonna buy this. Yeah, I'm touching, making it dirty. Okay, let's move on, let's put this aside. So yes, it looks very similar to the Pizza Hut. In fact, Oxford has a ton of these kind of small little sets that are really hard to find. I only have a couple of them, but let's take a look at this one from the front. What's cool is it has a little extension here. It's really simple. It's just a plate, two curved pieces, a chair, and an umbrella. But it's nice that you can actually put it here on the side. You could put it in the front if you wanted to. You could put it here on this side, or you could probably put it on the back. Who knows? That's just a little extra piece. Very cool, we'll move that here. The overall color and feel of this set is actually kind of cool. I like that kind of nice shade. It's very different from the Pizza Hut, huh? The Pizza Hut is really super dark. Same kind of reeling that we've seen before. The Oxford Block plant, they always use this kind of plant. It's kind of like their trademark, I guess. A little yellow flower sticking out there. And it is tiled on the front, but it's very basic, simple. It's just like the other one. You have the two sides here. Windows, lots of windows there. And of course, we rotate it for you real fast. There's no wall back here, there's no roofing. I like the open counter. They don't have those in the other set, so that's kind of cool to see that you can order it to go. And I like the little awning on the top there. It kind of matches the whole red and white from Kellogg's logo. And of course, across the top, you have Kellogg's Cereal Cafe sticker. Man, I really hate when stickers go over tiles. Why do they have to do that for? Ah. And you got an extra little sign here. That's interesting how you just kind of push it in that hole. And it's got two stickers on both sides that says, open for breakfast. And you got two little lampshades right there on the front door, and that's it. Let's rotate the sucker around. Look on the inside. It looks like it has more stuff going on in here than the Pizza Hut one. So on the very top here, you got this, that logo guy, man, he looks spooky. As a mascot, this guy kind of terrifies me. He's got a very holy body. You know me and holes, man. Trip phobia. Oh, look at his eyes and his eyebrows. What are you looking at? So he's peering in, making sure you're eating his cereal. You got a couple stickers here along the wall. There's the menu. Would someone like to translate that? What kind of cereal they have there? I like this sticker with the milk pouring in. It's just sweet, it's very detailed. Like I said, stickers from Oxford Block are so detailed. And on the counter from the outside, on the inside is the actual cash register. You can actually see like how much the items are that being bought. I like the little bowls there, like, you know, ready for your bowl of cereal. A couple of mugs, and you got this blender. I'm not quite sure what they're blending. Maybe chocolate milk or is that, is that coffee? And look at all the stickers. Those are all stickers again, but that is so cool. Yeah, there's Tony the Tiger. That's what I'm talking about. They need him included in the set. Not this other guy. I have never heard of this guy. Oh, he must be a Korean guy. He's like a magician in this one, and he's like, a, what is he doing there? It's a cook. Different from the two stickers down below, too. At least you got different stickers. It looks like you have loads of cereal inside there. That's actually kind of cool. Countertop of cereal. And next to the blender, you have this glass display here. Chocolate milk? Milk? Plenty of milk. Man, I want to eat in a place like this. And of course, on the other side is where all the customers sit down to eat. Those are more stickers on the table, the catalog. So over here, you got a single yellow light that overlooks the tables. And look by the door. That's really cool. It's a water cooler. Haven't quite seen one that looks like that, the transparent blue. Now, next to the cash register is a coffee machine. Not quite sure. A little joystick there. That's cool. You got two blue mugs there. Very sweet indeed. I like it. I like it quite a lot. So there it is. This is the Kellogg Cafe. Short and sweet, and also comes with too many figures. Let's check them out. You've got the guy that works behind the counter with his apron on here. And of course, that is a sticker. What a sloppy job I did putting that on. You know, just like the other set, we'll just call this guy limited edition guy. Because he's very plain and simple. Got nice hair though. Man, I wish I had hair like that. Why did my hair have to go? Then you got this girl, and just like the camping set, she has that hoodie that's actually pretty cool. It's a separate piece, and she's worth wearing a sweater because it's nice and cool, but she's gonna go in there and have her bowl of cereal. This is limited edition girl. Hi, limited edition girl. The printing is okay. It looks a little bit smudged there. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but anyway, there you go. 
no vehicles, but you do get an extra table with an umbrella, fit even more minifigures inside. Oh, you know it's dimension time, so break out your 32 by 32 base plates and play along with me. Now this is exactly the same as the Pizza Hut from the last video. It is 16 by width and 16 studs by length. So that means you're going to be able to put it on your base plates, shove it down in there and play with it however you like to play. However, this one comes with the umbrella stand, right? So if I was to put the umbrella anywhere on both sides, it actually comes out to 21 studs by length. Just so you know, it's an extra five right there. Get your one by four bricks out so you can measure along with me. And this is exactly 12 bricks or oh, just like barely, man. So that is Kellogg's Cereal Cafe. Get your bowl, get your cereal, get your milk and eat away. And I'll be back with comparisons. Don't worry, I'm gonna just do a couple more reviews and then I can put it all together and show you guys what it all looks like compared to other sets. So it's easier to find instead of having to go back to other videos to find all these comparisons, all right? So until next time, you guys, break me out. What is happening to me, man? I'm going backwards in life. I'm going from filming to gaming, to playing with Legos, to eating cereal. Something's wrong, man. Benjamin Button. Uh, dear, why are you eating the plant for? Scotty, I say I don't know. It tastes good, but why are we always eating food? Everywhere we're going, we're eating food. We're supposed to be on a big adventure. I, I guess Big Scotty wants us to fill our tummies up before we get back into the story. Anyway, where are we? Hey, psst, sir, back here. I can help you answer that. You're in the Kellogg Cereal Cafe. You guys want some cereal? Heck yeah! That sounds good to me. Dear, you can actually eat this. It's cereal. Finally. You just can't have milk with it. Woo! Sounds good to me. Well, yeah, cool. Just come on inside. Dang it, Scotty. I can't fit into this one. This is worse than the Pizza Hut one. I can't even get inside. How'd you even get through the water cooler part? You just gotta kind of jump on the table, slide over. That's all you can do, man. So, how can I help you guys? What would you like to eat? Oh, you know me. I'm gonna have the Frosted Flakes, man. They're great! Good idea. And how about you, dear? Um, I'd like the chocolate flavor one, please. But the guy in the box looks kind of spooky. Oh, that's because he really is a serial killer. Get it? Ha 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 ha! very funny. That was a terrible joke. Ha! I can't even fit inside. I must want to take my cereal outside. Scotty, I'll be outside. Okay, dear. I'm gonna sit with this pretty lady. <laughs> and that is how I met Deer. Isn't that a great story? Oh, you don't talk much, do you? Nothing, not a word. You just sit there. You're just a minifigure that's here for display to check the scale of the set. Maybe I'll go check on Deer. He's eating all by himself outside. Mmm, kind of dry, crunchy, but not bad. Tastes pretty good. You guys hear that? That sounds really loud. I wonder what that is. Whoa! That's a big truck! No, dang it! I can't see through my visor again. I keep crashing into everything. Dear, you're right, man. The hell was that? That thing just came crashing in here, Scotty. But look, it looks so cool. Yeah, it does, huh? Sorry, fellas, for that minor bump up. But anyway, I'm trying to get back on the road. You guys need to ride somewhere? Now, dear. That's our sign to get back into the adventure. We can have this truck driver take us back to the fork that we left off at. What do you say? Sounds good to me, Scotty. Let's get out of here. All right, y'all. In that case, welcome to Team Cobra. Now, I don't have room here in the front of the truck, but if one of you jump on the back, I can pull the other one. How's that sound? I'm already in the back, man. Dear, you're gonna get pulled. How come these things always happen to me, Scotty? It's just the way things are, man. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Besides, it hooks onto you perfectly. Oh, this is so gonna suck. Great. All right, you guys, catch you later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be back with more. Bye-bye now.